Okay, in this section, let's go back in time to when you used to use a Windows PC. Do you remember the time when you were sitting at your desktop and you used to be able to very simply right click on an icon when you wanted to copy it or implement some extra commands? Well, if you're using an Apple computer, you'll have a one click mouse. So, with how do you implement a right click with a one click mouse? Well, press the control key, which is two keys to the left of the spacebar, and then click. When you press the control key and click, you get your contextual menu, your right click menu. If you're using a laptop, so a MacBook or a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air, you'll need to go up to the top left hand side into System Preferences, or you can also go to System Preferences in the dock. I'll go to the Apple icon, System Preferences. You'll need to click on Trackpad, and then in two fingers, make sure the secondary click is activated. And then with two fingers, by tapping onto the trackpad, you've activated the right click on the, on the trackpad. I'll just close this down. How do I delete text? Well, you press the backspace key to delete text. But if you wanted to forward delete, you need to press the function key, which is the bottom left hand side key in the keyboard, FN, and then press backspace again. And you'll now notice that the arrow is now for facing to the right. Putting that into context, if I quite simply click on Spotlight and type in my name, I'll move the mouse to the end and press backspace. I'm deleting. I'm just going to type my name back in again. And if I move the, the cursor to the very beginning and press the function key and backspace, I am now forward deleting. Also, let's go back to your PC again. Sitting on your PC computer and the computer crashed. The program is unresponsive. Do you remember what you used to press? You used to press Control, Alt and Delete. Now you quite often hear that Macs don't crash. That's not necessarily true. Sometimes they can, but they do not crash half as much as they do on a Windows PC. So if it happens on a Mac, what you need to press is the Command key, also known as the Apple key. That's the first key to the left of the spacebar. You need to press the Alt key, also known as the Option key. That's the second key to the left of the spacebar. And you then need to press the Escape key, which is the very top left. You also get the icons coming up here to show you just what they look like on the keyboard. And that pops up a window. It's a force quit window. And any application that's open will be listed in here. And I can force quit them by selecting it and pressing force quit. Finally, how do you find the properties of a file? Well, I'm just going to double click on my hard drive. I'll go into documents. Oh, I have no documents there. I did put one in the trash earlier, so it's a great example of showing you how to take something back out of the tr trash. Literally click on this, click, drag, and drop. And I've now taken something out of the trash that, that I didn't mean to put there by mistake. To get the properties of it, click on the file, and then click Command, also known as Apple, and I. And you now can get the properties of the file. What file size it is, where it lives, and what kind of document it is. Another shortcut to that is control click, right click, and click on get info. And the same thing happens. You can even change the color of the file as it's labeled to make it easier to find when you're looking for stuff. Get info, change the color to yellow, 